Hello! This Mistcoat video, looking at the films of Annie and Easy A director Will Gluck, was sponsored by Chris over on Patreon. If you want to throw your support and possibly suggest some video ideas of your own guaranteeing this spot on the schedule, just visit my Patreon. Link is in the description. And now, on with the show. If you have been watching my videos long enough, you might have guessed I have a soft spot for many of the films released by Sony Pictures. I do genuinely enjoy them, and a lot of the credit goes to the many talented filmmakers who directed movies for them since their inception. One of their recent in-house directors who continues to impress me is Will Gluck. A lot of his projects tend to have great humor, likable characters, and a good heart. So far, he has directed four movies, with the fifth on the way soon, which makes this the appropriate time for me to give a quick overview on all of them. Will Gluck's feature directing interview came with Fired Up, which I will be honest, I did not think was particularly good. The whole project definitely feels like a product of those comedies about young men being immature and trying to score with women, a type of movie that definitely seems like it's on the way out. The main gag is that they're accepted into a cheerleading camp, but oh no, cheerleading is a women's thing. Let's see what shenanigans they get into. The main duo end up going through the expected character beats, as one slowly but surely falls in love with one of the other cheerleaders, and the other finds himself trying to seduce one of the teachers. We also have John Michael Higgins in a thankless role as the top cheerleader coach, whose main joke is his constant enthusiasm and bursts of anger. Eric Christian Olsen has some funny non-secretary lines here and there, but otherwise I found myself unimpressed with the cliché plotline and jokes in the film. Thankfully, Will Gluck's following films were vast improvements. Easy A Works is a charming teen comedy, a great starring vehicle for Emma Stone, and a look at the cruel world of high school and its treatment of women. Inspired by The Scarlet Letter, the film cleverly shows the contrast between how boys and girls are treated when they're seen as promiscuous. Easy A is a movie that uses narration superbly well in guiding the story along and showing Olive's relationship with other people. Emma Stone is the star of the show here, with an incredibly endearing and sympathetic performance. I think Stone is one of the best young actors working today, and while Superbad was her breakout role, Easy A showed she had a movie star quality about her. Patricia Clarkson and Sally Tucci bring a spunk to their quirky parents, who you will either find annoying or wish you had parents like them. Amanda Bynes also deserves credit for her hilarious turn as a Bible-thumping classmate with some of the funniest moments coming from Olive's interactions with her. Easy A certainly is not afraid of comparing itself with John Hughes's films, although I think it fits more closely with modern teen comedies like Mean Girls and The Edge of Seventeen. It's not hard to see why this funny little comedy resonated with audiences so much. Gluck then moved on to the romantic comedy genre with Friends with Benefits. Featuring excellent chemistry between Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis, the script managed to be a witty little escapade, even as it occasionally found itself utilizing some conventions. The opening device of how Timberlake and Kunis find their exes breaking up with them is brilliantly done, and that proves to be a solid jumping off point. Of course, we know these two are going to end up together, and there's a rooting interest, as these two are lovely together. Timberlake has done a pretty solid job of jumping from boy band singer to actor, and Kunis is her usual charming self. And when the film involves the serious subplot of Timberlake's father having early stages of Alzheimer's, it handles it in a way that's respectful, with Richard Jenkins turning in a heartwarming performance. Friends with Benefits, unfortunately, does use a bit of the misunderstanding cliché, as so much would be resolved had the two characters talked for a couple minutes. A little ironic, as the script goes out of its way to mock standard romantic comedy conventions. However, that's a minor blip as we build to a nice conclusion. Will Gluck then went on to take on a famous Broadway musical with his modernized adaptation of Annie. I already went into full detail in my defense of the film, but it's worth going over what I like about it again. In transferring Annie to the present day, I think Gluck managed to make it relevant to the current generation, while still keeping the themes of hope and optimism that have allowed that musical to be so beloved. Leading the way is Quavensne Wallace, who gives an utterly charming performance as Annie, and I actually consider her to be the best of the screen Annies. She brought the necessary spark 
but also a lot of humanity to the character that makes her immediately easy to sympathize with. Through her depiction of Annie, the film also gives voice to foster kids who fight to be given that opportunity, while also shedding further light on the illiteracy problem, even in first world countries. Her chemistry with Jamie Foxx is wonderful, as is her singing. The musical numbers have the proper energy to them, and I have to give credit to Saya and Greg Kirsten for their instrumentals of the famous songs, as well as for their new compositions. Tomorrow is a song that has always run the risk of being too saccharine, but in this version, the tune becomes a powerful anthem and easily the best rendition. It's a hard knock life, I think I'm gonna like it here, and Cameron Diaz's hilarious cover of Little Girls, also brilliantly choreographed and excellently directed by Gluck. Although the centerpiece ultimately becomes the new song, Opportunity, which leads to an emotional performance by Wallace. I've seen this version of Annie quite a few times, and it just seems to get better with every viewing. So what does Will Gluck have in store for us next? None other than an adaptation of Beatrice Potter's beloved classic, Peter Rabbit, and I'm really excited for it. A lot of people are already dismissing this as a live-action CG hybrid with no respect for the book. But I'm getting more of a Paddington and Stuart Little vibe, and now it's tackling and modernizing the source material. I also appreciate that the entire cast consists of only British and Australian actors, which tells me Gluck is not attempting to Americanize the story. The book was always about Peter Rabbit getting on Mr. McGregor's nerves as he trespasses into the garden, and the film looks to follow suit with some added tug of war between them. Peter Rabbit looks absolutely adorable and is definitely among my most anticipated films of next year. In conclusion, consider me somebody with an appreciation for Mr. Gluck's work whether it's the musical stylings of Annie or the high school politics of Easy A. If I see he is directing a project, I am easily pencil it in as a film to watch in the future. See you next time.